done. It's been worth it, hasn't it? Five days of of hell for this. <laughs> I need a few more penguins. <laughs> I need a few more. My hands aren't really designed for polar diving, but for some reason I still decide I want to do it. It just feels like the whole finger is turning to ice and um, once you've reached that point, you know, when you come back up, it's going to be quite painful, which it is right now. quite a major setback this morning we were trying to film some penguins and um a leopard seal decided to use the boat as a chew toy and it's ripped quite a couple of big holes in the boat so that's an end to diving for now which is a real shame because we're running out of time these are some of the toughest conditions i've ever had to work in the temperatures are obviously really really cold the water's zero degrees that makes the cameras not perform properly they fog up the batteries don't last as long in such stormy weather, a big swell has come through and churned up everything. So there's not a lot going for us right now. The stuff's just not built to be put through such tough conditions, really. I've been here almost two weeks now, um, but finally this morning I got to watch the sort of strategy that the leopard seal has when he's hunting. So they were all in there and they were screaming out through here. And he yeah. comes up there just as it was getting on the beach. Yeah. You see, it's, it was pretty wide, but poor thing. He's a very, very clever hunter. He knows exactly what he's doing. Very impressive to see. <laughs> it's a little bit sobering thinking about what happened with the boat being bitten I think it, it's all it's got to investigate anything is its mouth so it's probably just coming up and tasting things but it bit the boat a bit hard and ended up going through it but it is worrying because if obviously it did, if it did the same to me it could make a pretty good similarly sized gash in my leg so we do have to be a little bit careful 